Um, I think you have to also be open to continual conversation. Know that it's not gonna be a one-time conversation or allow it to be open-ended so that they know that conversation can happen again. Just like with um, a conversation about sexuality in itself, you don't want that to be a one-time conversation. It grows and builds and as they get older and have more questions, the same may happen with your children with this topic that as they start to know more and grow more or um, just encounter other media or people, they may have questions. And so I think to direct them to, to come back to you. And I think that's why it's important to follow up the conversation because the first time they may not have any context for some of the terminology or some of the experiences, so they may not understand any of it. But as they're processing it or processing what you've told them, that maybe after a few weeks, they might have more questions. And you want to reinitiate that with your kids, um, so just to kind of keep those lines open as much as possible. 